but don't count out the Trojans. 43 and a half seconds to go in the half. They do not have any timeouts, though. Four wide for Nate Bolin. This quick strike offense will try and get down the field in a hurry. But that will not help. Whistles before the snap, false start. They're moving back five yards. Prior to the snap, false start. On the offense, five yard penalty remains first down. West High has not had the football a lot in this first half. It's been dominated by City High. Absolutely. They had the first three and out on the opening series. They had the one great drive for the touchdown. But besides that, they haven't really been able to get a whole lot of sustained drives. And, and here, we'll see if they just try to take one shot, see if they can pick up some yardage. But you want to be careful, backed up in your own end zone like this, not to turn the ball over and give City High a, a freebie for a chance for points before half. Bowling to run up the middle. Has some space. Bolin gets outside. Gets a great block on the far sideline. He's up near midfield. What a block. Was that Anthony Beatty, the receiver? That was Beatty. He put the, put the shock into him, no doubt about it. He set the edge with authority on that block. That's what they needed. They take your shot, see if you can pick up a good chunk of yardage. West High has a, a good field goal kicker in Connor Gordon, and he's got the wind at his back. If they could just pick up another uh, 25, 30 yards, they'll give him a chance. But no timeouts, Morgan, like you said, and that's going to work against West High here at the end. 31.9 seconds to go in the half. Ball at the 45. Bowling to throw. Good protection. Steps up. Now rolls to the right. Throws on the run. Complete. This is Beatty into Little Hawks territory. 18 seconds. He'll get down. The clock will stop with 16.4. It'll stop as they move the chains. Bowling, great to, play. You have to spike it in this situation. Bowling under center. Snap in the spike. 13. That took three seconds off the clock to spike the football. But you can't run the risk sure. of making another play. If they keep them in bounds, maybe you try one along the sideline, but that's, a, that's asking quite a bit out of these high school kids to, to work the clock like this. It's been impressive up until now, but now it's getting a little bit of danger. You have to win at your back, a kicker that can knock it this far. You might want to think about kicking it on this down or taking a really safe play because a sack or a receiver catching it and getting tackled in, in bounds is going to be the end of the half. Second and ten. Bowling rolling left. Kelsey giving him protection. Heaves uh, it downfield. That's complete. And his receiver gets out of bounds with five seconds to go. That was Tyler Eads. That is really impressive to see, see kids at this level be able to do that. He rolled out, had the presence, to make sure he got on the sideline. Then the receiver also had the presence to catch it and then run directly out of bounds. Ball at the 19. Got one play, Nate. 19 you know. yards to go. Yeah, here's, here's got to be a field goal opportunity, I would think. But they better hurry because the play clock's at 16. and No timeouts. You don't want to be moving that back at all. Connor Gordon coming on the field. Nate, they've got eight seconds on the play clock. They're not going to get this yeah, thing off. Yeah, they're going to take a delay of game. That's a key, key penalty. Now, West High, I think a little. Now comes the flag. You hate that as a kicker. You're... Oh, they're, they're trying to reset the play clock. I don't know. A little late for that, maybe, but he's called the shots. They reset the play clock. That's a bit of a gift. And here's the kick. And it's no good, oh. so it's a moot point. But there's 1.1 second to go in the half. Now City High will take a knee, but that's, that's unfortunate for West High because that was a really impressive drive to end the half, and they got their field goal kicker within range for a shot, but he just barely pushed it wide right. And they got a, a bit of a gift there from the referee, in my opinion, to reset the play clock. That's Man, their kicking game was late getting on the field. They, they got bailed bit. out a little bit. But it was smart by the holder because he said, wait, you know, there's no point in rushing it. We'll just move back and, and try it. But referee said, eh, I'll just give you another 25 seconds. You can make it work. But the field goal sailed just wide. and. City High dodges a bullet at the end of the half. They went from missing a wide open receiver to. They had a receiver wide open on the far side, but now he's I, covered up by they got Beatty. Beatty back there and a couple deep safeties. So. They'll give to Washburn and he'll try to spin out of a tackle. 
Dan Saber is saying, just don't fumble here and run out the clock, and he will. What a half of football. Not what we expected, but what a great first half here in the battle for the boot. 7-7, our score.